Hello and welcome back to English with Lucy and to another episode of my British English pronunciation series. Today we're going to talk about another diphthong and this one is the O. Before we get started, make sure you connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook, my Instagram, my Weibo and of course my YouTube channel and you can also sponsor me on Patreon and you can earn some really nice rewards like Skype lessons and handwritten letters. Okay, so O is a diphthong and it is formed of a and o. O. Okay, so two vowel sounds, one syllable. So your mouth shape will change throughout the duration of the syllable. O. O. So I often hear many of my Hispanic students saying no, go, close, clothes, hop. This is wrong. Stop doing it. You know it's wrong, so stop it. So some words with the letter O are bone, clothes, home, throne from Game of Thrones. I never want to hear Game of Thrones again. Or worse, Game of Thrones. I've heard someone say Game of Thrones. So firstly we have the O, consonant and E. So we have bone, close. Then we have with just plain old O, so we've got both, almost, local, open, over, O, O. Then we've got words just ending in O, ago, go, no, no is so, oh, there's another one, important. No, no, no sounds very babyish to us. That's what a baby would say, no. But um, no, no, must be no. Then we've got words with O-A. So boat, goat, coat, not quat <laughs> or boat. <laughs> boat, coat, throat. Toast, toast, toast. Words ending in O-E, toe, the name Joe, foe. Words ending in O-W, like borrow, or follow, or grow. Then we've got words with O-U, like although, or doe. Okay guys, I hope this lesson helped you. Please make a conscious effort to use this vowel sound correctly. And if you do so, if you do so, you will definitely sound more British very, very quickly. Don't forget to connect with me on all my social media and have a lovely day. Bye. Please make a conscious effort.